Hello, let's talk about confidence versus self-confidence. Um, so here's an example to describe the two differences. If you uh, are going to pour a glass of water, you have confidence that you can pour a glass of water because you have done it before. You're like, of course I can pour a glass of water because I've done it before. So you have confidence about you doing it because based on your previous experience okay you're relying on hundreds of times of you having done it before so you have 100 percent certainty that you can do it again so that's confidence uh, based on experience before okay sometimes though just like with your job going forward now you know you have never gotten this specific job at this specific next level Right, so it's something that you knew that you're doing, even though you've gotten other jobs before, right? This is like another level that you've never done before. You no longer can rely on confidence based on your previous experiences or your ability, right? So therefore, we have self-confidence that we can utilize to take the actions to get that next job. And self-confidence is based on your idea of yourself uh, and your um, willingness to handle anything that comes your way, okay? So it's just you uh, thinking thoughts like, I can handle anything that comes my way, right? If you think that, that you have self-confidence to have a go at it, to have a try at it. So if we're comparing like pouring a glass of water, which you've done hundreds of times, to something like water skiing that maybe you have never done before, then you need to have self-confidence to say, you know what, I'm going to try. You need to have self-confidence to say, I am willing to try water skiing and fail to, to water ski. I'm willing to try and fail. I'm willing to handle failure and falling down in front of everyone for me to be to try to learn to water ski right so this is the difference between confidence and self-confidence and i really love this description of self-confidence because it is super freaking awesome okay so there's two parts to self-confidence one part is like literally you know i can handle anything that comes my way and that um, creates trust in yourself. Like I, I have my own back if anything happens, right? Uh, and I'm willing to manage my mind. I trust that I will manage my mind to try water skiing. It's okay if I fail, I'm just gonna try it. That's managing your mind. Y you uh, have willingness to try water ski skiing, right? Even if you know you might not get up on the skis 20 times, in when you try right but you're willing so trust and willingness just like you're going for an interview you trust that you will go and have your own back even if you don't get your this this interview right this job you kind of have to even if you're like still you're gonna get yourself upset over it and beat yourself up after you are still partly are going to have to have your own back because the alternative sucks right so you you have to do that for yourself and you're willing to go on as many interviews as possible to get the job for yourself, right? Just like we talked about dating, you have to be willing to go on 200 dates to get, to, you know, meet your husband. And this look inward part is something that is required of us to have self-confidence. We can't look at our past experiences and say, I can water ski because you've never water skied, right? Like, then your mind will say, I can't water ski, obviously. So then you have to look inward and you can say, I can try, right? Like I can uh, set a goal to fail 100 times, right? Because I know that if I try 100 times, I am bound to succeed, right? Based on statistic or whatever. And I know that whoever keeps trying, they will get what they want, right? Uh, so failures, dares, and possible goals. And this is where those things can be super helpful for you to um, get to your goal. Like with your interview, right? Just that's why I keep saying, you know, you have to look at it as a big picture. This is one of the 200 things you're doing to get this job. It's one of the 200 failures 
and dares, so dares or something that's super scary that you are daring yourself to do even though you're like, I don't think I can do it, right? Or even if you think you can do it, but then you get to an interview and you're super freaking nervous and you totally bomb it, perfect failure, perfect dare, right? An impossible goal is for you to get that amazing job that you don't think you can get, which I think in your case is possible because you are definitely like you, you don't think it's impossible, right? But I'm sure if we access, like if I asked you, what do you think would be impossible for you? Then that would be an impossible goal. And I actually do encourage you to think about that. Uh, but we'll talk about that in another video. This, this video is about self-confidence um, because impossible goals are something so incredible that can actually get you such amazing sideline results that you have never dreamed of that you will blow your own mind, okay? But it is all looking inward, like what can I do now? What am I willing to do to get this, even though I've never done it before? So that's looking inward. And then the other part of it is I am not perfect and it's okay. Because what happens once we start water skiing and we fail, we fall down 50 times and we're like, well, now I have 50 times of experience and now I'm willing to say, uh, like, okay, obviously I can't do it. I just don't have the coordination. I just don't have the, the, I'm just not a person who can water ski, right? Because now you have the experience. So your mind will want to say, I can't do it, right? So then you have to say, I am not perfect and it's okay. And for you to keep trying, right? For you to feel confident that you can do it. You're like, maybe it'll take me a hundred times. But that doesn't mean I'm going to give up right so that's like when you start at all one you're like i can do it but the the i i'm willing to handle anything that comes my way can get you to like a, a five or a six where and then you can start getting into trouble where you realize that you're human and you have you get nervous at interviews and like you you know you can't just like switch a uh, turn a switch on and be not nervous at an interview and that's where the other part of the confidence comes in and be like i'm nervous and it's okay bitches I'm nervous half of the time. It's totally fine. It is not a problem. I can do my job nervous. I can do presentations nervous. I do a lot of things nervous. What else? What else you got coming, right? So see how that that makes that gives you that get takes it to a ten of a confidence. Okay. Uh, so then we talk about here. Let me do this. So then we talk about this part, which gets you to love where you're at, to love you with the B minus work with you. To love where you are going on interview nervous and doing b minus work and it being enough for you to get the job right because they don't need for you to speak perfectly they need to know that you can do the job right which does not mean you need to do it perfectly it just means means that you need to co basically communicate to them good enough b minus work that you can do the job acceptance you have to accept that you're not perfect you have to accept that yes i'm nervous you can't be just like i need to be not nervous i need to be fully confident right because sometimes that's what we need to do right i am human and i'm a life coach right talk about not perfect right i am a not perfect human doing things completely not perfectly having anxiety overwhelm all the things and doubt and all the things and i'm a life coach how can that be is because I love and accept that I'm human and it's okay for me to be this way to help others with their life same thing for you right in your interview I can tell people at the interview that I can help them even though I'm nervous and I'm not that articulate right that's totally possible right because it's not about how well you say it it's about helping them and I need to tell them I can help them and I can just say it simply like that people are people I can help you Okay, and then uh, looking outward piece is a great indicator for you to uh, find ways where you are not doing that. For example, if you're not accepting that you're human, is you can notice where you're judging someone or where someone's judging you and you're agreeing with them. You can, so for example, if you're judging someone for not speaking articulately, you can be like, oh, they're not gonna get the, the job because they're not that well-spoken, right? That's when you notice, oh, I am judging them and I think that they are not perfect and they should be perfect in the whole speaking well department. 
and that's where my work is. I that means I am judging me and me being not well spoken, and I am. That's holding me back from being fully confident and accepting me of being fully human, right? So notice that binary, right? That where like, oh, they got it all, they will get it. Or, oh, oh, I see this person there. They don't have it all. They won't get it, right? Versus, no, that's totally not true. Everyone can get their job because everyone's human and everyone has their own quirks. And if they can do the job, then they can do the job. They don't have to be well spoken, right? And self-righteousness, or sometimes when you notice, oh, well, I totally have all the experience they need and this person doesn't, so they won't get the job, and I will. Again, that's projecting you how you're, you are, where you need to work on is like that um, perfect human. Like, oh, I'm a perfect human. It's because it doesn't last, right? It's, it's, it's a false sense of security that you need to um, notice that you are project like you are kind of, muddying the situation right you are you when you are hiring others you will be looking for that you will be looking for a perfect human who speaks well as opposed to um somebody who can actually do the job right um so that will kind of indicate you where you are not loving yourself enough uh where you're judging people is where you're judging yourself so that that is something that you can take and um uh grow your relationship with yourself to accept you being not perfect to accept you being human to love and accept yourself without being fully confident which coincidentally gives you more confidence right so i hope this blows your mind like it did mine so two things i can handle anything and it's okay if i'm not perfect right i'm not perfect and it's okay those two things create inner confidence self-confidence before you have any evidence to support that you can do this thing, okay? And that is all practicable, that is all manageable, and you have the best brain, the, the, the smartest technology on earth to, that's your brain, to, to do this, okay? Just have to manage it. You got this. Have fun, bye.